in this video i'll show you how we can add data to cloud firestore so i'm using the same project and but i made few changes so first thing i added view binding and also i added one new activity that's for the firestore and i'm opening these activities from the main activity so we have already one activity for the real-time database and now i created this firestore activity so let me show you in the project how it looks like so here i added two packages one is for the firestore and the second one is for the real-time db okay now let me show you how the firestore activity looks like okay so we have one layout file for this uh, activity so it is called activity firestore this is the layout file and it has one edit text name and other edit text email one checkbox and also it has one button and one more edit text aids so this is the main activity and it's showing two buttons here real time db and cloud firestore so uh, for firestore activity you will have to click on this button then it will open this activity that is the firestore activity so uh what we'll do we'll uh, take the data that the user will enter in the name field email field and also for the checkbox and for the age field and once the user will click on add then we'll add the data to firestore so for name it will be a string for email it will be another string for this one it will be a boolean and for age it will be a number okay so let's move back to firestore activity so it's like similar to what we did for real-time database the first thing you need to create is to create one variable for firestore so let me create one firestore variable firebase dot firestore what you will see that it's not recognizing uh, the firestore let me import it So you can see that it's not recognizing the firestore because we have to add it to the gradle file first so let's open the firebase assistant window now go to firestore cloud firestore and get started with cloud firestore for kotlin so our fire app is already connected to firebase then we so as you get to our app click on this and it will add this to our app builder gradle file so click on accepts in this and also you can see that there is one message that we can use firebase android uh, boom so this library we can use to manage all the firebase libraries so we don't have to write versions for each of the uh, the firebase libraries we can only write the version here and it's uh, the easiest way to manage like different firebase libraries so if you click on this then it will open the yeah so this is the page for the latest version of firebase boom so just copy this one go to your project and go to the builder gradle file that is the app builder gradle file okay let me hide the assistant window so uh, before you initialize any firebase libraries just add it here then we have firebase one is for db so we don't have to add the version code and one is for firebase firestore so we don't have to add it again so you can just upgrade the version code of this firebase boom and it will be updated automatically for other firebase dependencies okay now let me comment it out and you can see that it's now showing this that we have to import this one just click on alt enter and it will show us the import statement okay now if you see the import file then you can see that firestore is imported from this uh, firebase firestore for kotlin okay now we need to get the data i'm using view binding binding and i'm accessing the button and i'm adding one click listener to the button set on click listener and here we have to create one hash map first so uh, let's 
give the name of the hazmap as user info and we can use hazmap off and we have to add the key value pairs so that will be added directly to the first row okay for the first one let's use as use it as name and for this we have to use binding dot edit text name so i'm accessing the first edit text that's in the activity first row so this one is for the name edit text and its id is et name edit text name dot text dot to string the second one is email and i'm going to use binding dot et email dot text dot to string the third one is the updates so third one is for the checkbox that is for receiving updates so it will be a boolean value so i'm gonna use winding dot update switch and i can use this each check property so it will be true if this is checked and false it is if it is not checked okay the next one is eight it will be a number so we have to get binding dot et aids dot takes dot to string and also we can use to int or null so if it is not a number then it will uh, return null and otherwise it will move it uh, convert it to integer okay now we can use the fire store variable and we have to put the data in a collection first we need to create one collection and let's say the collection name is subscribers so the collection will be appear here and we don't have any collection now so i'm gonna use i'm gonna create one new collection this collection name is subscribers and we need to uh, use one document and we have to give one name of the document so i'm gonna give the email address as a name of the document so takes dot to string okay so then we can use the set method and here we can pass this user info object that is the main and also we can add listener and let me add one uh, on success listener on success listener then once it is done we can show on those messages those sort of make text this subscriber added and we can give one land dot so similarly we can also pass one failure listener okay let me copy it and i can add one failure listener and here let me paste it subscriber failed send it to failed okay that, that's it now let me run the program okay it is restarted now let me click on this cloud first store and here i can give one name let's the name is username and username suppose the email is username at email.com and let me add it true it's suppose this 12 if i click on the add button then you can see the post subscriber edit now let's see if it is added here or not so you can see that the subscribers collection is added and one document that is uh, the email of the user then age email name and of this group so let's suppose let me change it to 13 and if i click on it then you can see that it is changed to 13 then if i try to add another email if i click on it then you can see that this email is added and if i don't provide anything here and let's create one more email and now if i go here then you can see that the age is null and if you see here then these are values the update is true if i since the update then it will be false so this is one of the way you can add data to a firestore project 
we can also use a class that i'll show you in another video so if you love this video please do like it and please subscribe to my channel and i'm sharing the code on github if you have any questions you can drop on comment below thanks bye